Greetings, this is Ethiopian reporter Digital Media News and I'm Natsan Nabzualem. Here are the headlines. World Bank forecasts war economy to heal in 2020, but challenges abound. Gambela region demands military interventions from the federal government. Fuel contraband forces new strategy. The World Bank projected Ethiopia's economic growth for 2022 to reach 4.3 percent. It is an optimist project made based on assumptions that the store in price commodities in the global market would help economies like Ethiopia to register a better growth this year. World Bank's latest projection is far below the 8.7 percent and 8 percent projections made by the Ethiopian government and the African Development Bank, respectively. Even though the country is showing signs of recovery from the lowest rate achieved in 2021, the bank stated that there are more obstacles before Ethiopia's economy regains the 9 percent growth rate recorded in 2019. The bank included Ethiopia in its latest global economic prospects, which covers up to 2023, unlike the International Monetary Fund, which blanked Ethiopia's projection due to political uncertainties. World Bank's report projected Ethiopia's growth rate to further climb to 6.5% by 2023. Even though World Bank projected that the economy will show slight recovery in 2022, it explained that armed conflicts and insecurity could weigh heavily on the outlook, including increased uncertainty and deterring private investment, as Ashanaf Indala reports. Unable to control repeated attacks by militant groups from South Sudan, the Gambela Regional State requested for military support from the federal government and the Ethiopian National Defense Force ENDF. The Regional Peace and Security Bureau requested the ENDF to cover the border areas and take measures on the armed groups, including aerial attacks. The request for intervention came after armed groups from neighboring South Sudan killed eight and wounded at least five people on the 20th of January 20. 22. According to Boon Will, head of Peace and Security Bureau in Gambela, the armed group who are from the Murule tribe in South Sudan crossed the border to Ethiopia and opened fire in nowhere zone, Akobo Warada, and Kankabale with a target on an ambulance which caused the death of 12 people. Last week, militants crossed the border and abducted two children. And three days prior to the latest attack, the militants robbed more than 70 cattle and killed one police officer. Since recently, the trend has shifted to killings, forcing the regional government to seek support in order to respond to escalating attacks. Currently, the region is using its special force and militants to maintain peace and security in the area. But the armed groups from the tribe have a tendency to enter and leave the Gambela region unexpectedly and inflict mass killings, which might escalate into a national security issue, as Amanuel Yilika reports. In a bid to reduce fuel smuggled from Ethiopia to neighboring countries, the Ethiopian government is devising a new fuel supply strategy which mandates quota-based fuel distribution to regional states. Regional states have already embarked on studying the number of residents and fuel demands in each city and towns in their respective regions. A significant volume of fuel is smuggled out of Ethiopia through borders to North Sudan, South Sudan, Kenya and Somalia. Mulugeta Bayene, Deputy Commissioner at the Ethiopian Customs Commission, told the reporter that they have managed to reduce the contraband of fuel by far compared to three years ago. Mulugeta accuses fuel distributing companies, transporters, station owners and retailers of being involved in the contraband business, which is currently more than intense in Somalia, Moyale and Gambela, though it's smuggled through all border areas. According to Mulugeta, the major reason behind the fuel contraband is subsidy. The price of fuel in Ethiopia is almost less than half compared to our neighboring countries. Therefore, there is a scramble to smuggle out fuel from Ethiopia to neighboring countries through borders. Currently, a national strategy is being designed to stop the cross-border fuel contraband. The regional states are studying the fuel demand in each city and town, and the demand assessment will then be cross-checked for exaggerations, as Ashanaf Indala reports. That was all for today. For more information, please visit our website, thereporterethiopian.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you.